Hi, my name is Ed Loftus. I'm a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and I wanted to talk to you today about a study that was recently published looking at heavy steroid use in patients with inflammatory bowel disease. The study took place in Manitoba, which is a province of Canada, and they used their provincial administrative health claims data to construct a cohort of inflammatory bowel disease patients. These patients were diagnosed between 1984 and 2010. And in order to be considered an IBD patient, you had to have at least five medical claims for inflammatory bowel disease as part of the study. If you were in the database less than two years, you only needed three claims, not five claims. So they had over 5,000 patients uh, in this database, and it was roughly 50-50 ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. And they were particularly interested in looking at, at any given point in time, how many patients were on steroids, and also of the patients who had heavy use of steroids, which was defined as needing more than 3,000 milligrams cumulatively in a 12-month period, what were their outcomes with respect to surgery and such. And so what they found was that the peak point prevalence of needing corticosteroids was about 60 days after diagnosis of inflammatory bowel disease. And at that point in time, about 17% of their patients were on corticosteroids. And then after that time period, the, the point prevalence use rapidly declined so that at any given point in time later, say a year later or three years later or five years later, was only a couple of percent. So three or four percent at any given point in time were actually on corticosteroids. But if you went back and looked at that first year, if you did need corticosteroids and you needed in particular a high dose, meaning again that 3,000 milligram or higher cutoff, your risk of needing surgery was significantly higher. Of that. If you looked at the 10-year rate of surgery in Crohn's disease, your risk was 32% needing surgery if you had been a heavy user of corticosteroids versus only 13% if you had not used any corticosteroids in that first year. And similarly, the 10-year risk of requiring ulcerative colitis surgery or colectomy was significantly higher if you had been a heavy user of steroids, meaning about 13% versus only 2 or 3% if you hadn't used steroids. So this is telling us that we could use steroids as a prognostic risk factor. So early need for corticosteroids and inflammatory bowel disease generally means that you're going to have a higher risk of an adverse outcome such as surgery. Now, does that mean that steroids are making the condition worse? Probably not. It's probably just a marker for severity. There are some people, there is a school of thought that steroids might actually make the disease worse. I'm thinking more along the lines that this is that the, the sickest people are the ones who need corticosteroids and need for steroids is a marker of disease severity. But again, when we're trying to make that determination when a patient is first diagnosed or shortly thereafter, what medication should I put them on? Are they a high-risk patient or a low-risk patient? I think this study highlights the fact that early need for steroids is in fact a risk factor. Thanks.